Hey everyone, I'm so excited to be back here on Coral TV. As you might know, I have been off on my own channel for the last few months cooking up a storm. And I'm excited to be back to share with you my foolproof recipe for guacamole. The weather is nicer now and it is time for this delicious, refreshing dip. The base for this wonderful dip is three very ripe avocados. And all we're going to do is slice our avocados and then give them a good dice. Now if you're not a pro with working with avocados, you can definitely check out my how to cut avocado video. There is a link in the description below. I'll teach you everything you ever wanted to know about this amazing fruit. So once you've got all your beautiful avocados cut, you can give them a quick mash with a potato masher or you can use a fork. To that, we are going to add the juice of one lime. Now you wanna make sure you're getting a lot of lime juice on these avocados. That's gonna help prevent them from browning. To that, we are going to add one minced clove of garlic, half a small red onion. I like to mince my onion really finely um, because you just never want to take too big a bite of a red onion. And then we're going to add half a jalapeno. Now if you're not into the heat, don't sweat it. It's no big deal. You can definitely omit the jalapeno, but I think jalapenos are just essential in guacamole. Just adds a little bit of bite. To that, we are going to add tomato. Some people are not into adding tomato to guacamole, but I think it gives it nice color and just additional freshness. To that, we are going to add a good helping of ground cumin, a classic Mexican flavor, some cayenne pepper for a little more heat, and some salt. Now you don't wanna skimp on the salt here because avocados really do absorb a lot of salt, so don't be afraid to go for it. Mix in all these delicious flavors. Finally, we are going to add some chopped, fresh cilantro. Now, if you're not into cilantro, don't sweat it. You don't have to add it, but I really feel like in any classic guacamole, cilantro takes it to that next level. And with just a little bit of effort, you have an incredible dip that's gorgeous, just like this. You can serve it with tortilla chips or fresh veggies, or even better yet, toss it on a burger. It's absolutely amazing as a condiment. And for three tasty twists on this classic guacamole, be sure to check out my channel, The Domestic Geek. I'm making a Thai guacamole, a grilled corn and chipotle guacamole, and a sweet tropical fruit guacamole that has a really beautiful heat and sweet combination happening. I really hope you'll jump over, check them out, and give this recipe a try. Be sure to subscribe to Coral, of course, and to The Domestic Geek for lots of tasty treats just like this.